In this module, I wanna show you how to trim a beard using your scissors and clippers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scissor over comb the initial length. So I'm gonna use the wide teeth of my comb because in the wide teeth, it won't pull the hair. That's usually a little coarser that grows out from the face. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna get rid of some of the excess length that doesn't seem to make sense. And my goal here is as I'm working is to move that head around so that I can really get into that length. And especially under the chin, if I don't move that head up, I'm gonna have a very difficult time scissor over combing that length under there. So as I work, I'm just trying to get rid of some of the excess hairs that don't translate to the actual end result looking good. As I continue to refine this, I can use the full blade of my shears or I can just use the tips to refine any of the excess hair. Or as I work through around, I can also create a line through the different aspects of the hair using my scissors on the perimeter of the beard. So the next part of the technique is to use my clippers and I'm gonna use it in a very similar way as I use my scissors, is I just take the wide teeth of the comb, but instead of cutting across, I actually wanna cut up and through. And by doing that, I'm gonna create a nice soft finish instead of a strong, heavy, blunt finish. So as I go, I'm just scooping up and out to really just remove any of the excess length that doesn't sit well with the beard. Now with any beard or with any growth pattern, the hair moves in different directions. So I really wanna make sure to move that hair around so I really get a very equal distribution of movement with that hair. So as I continue to, to edge out the beard, I can then use the edge of my clippers to help refine it. And finally, for the underside, a lot of times, the hair that grows around the neck is unruly. And so just to make it look like a more finished beard, it's nice to just clipper through on the skin to really get rid of that excess length that grows out or underneath the chin around the throat. So as I refine the area around the throat, so that way the hair doesn't look like it's growing too far down, I'm just making sure to clean that up. I don't want there to be necessarily a perfect straight line. I do like there to be a little bit of naturalness to it, but at the same time, I'm really controlling it so it's not just a big clump of hair growing out from their face, that it's actually manageable and stylized properly. 